Hey there friends, it's Missy again. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm back with a new layout for the ThermaWeb design team and I'm going to show you two different ways that you can apply the deco foil that do not require a laminator. I know a lot of you have asked me, you know, how can I use the foil? I don't have a laminator and this is uh, one way to do it. These are the iCraft Easy Cut Adhesive Sheets and I'm going to use these three colors of foil and I'll talk about those when I get to those, but um, these are basically 6 by 12 sticky sheets and there's a layer of sticky in the middle and then there's two backings on either side that you peel off. And I found a fun cut file that I'm going to use for my design today from the cut shop and on the right side I just used some white textured cardstock and on the left I put down the easy cut adhesive sheet. and they will cut in your cameo. Um, on my previous layout or previous video I punched circles out of this stuff and it works great. And my problem here is not the material. I did not have my blades set high enough and so it didn't punch completely all the way through or cut all the way through. So I did have to go through and kind of punch it out but it turned out fine. But just if you're gonna put this in your cameo make sure you turn your blade up a little higher than you would for cardstock. So this is some of the really nice, smooth, and thick Gina K Designs cardstock. And what I'm going to do is foil up these two floral pieces. I'm going to use Aqua, and that's a smooth, pretty blue color. And then this one is stunning. Look at this. This is called Amethyst Watercolor, and it is exactly that. It is so pretty. So pretty in the light. So here's how the Easy Cut Adhesive works. You want to cut your shape, or punch it, or cut it, and then you peel off one side of it, and then you're still left with sticky. And so all you're going to do is stick it down onto something. Um, I prefer the smooth card stock for this particular layout, but you could also do texture. And you're going to get a different look on textured versus smooth card stock. You peel off the other side, and there you go. You can see it. Your shape is there in sticky form. So if you touch it, your finger's going to stick to it. And all you do is take the transfer sheet of foil and stick it right on top, foil side up, and then just use your finger to go over it and to smudge it down and press on it. And when you peel it off, there it is. Super simple, no laminator required. Look how pretty that purple is. It's really hard to do these justice on camera. In real life, they are just so, so shiny and sparkly and beautiful. And I'm going to do this again, and I'm going to make this one aqua. The hardest part is, is getting the little piece to peel off, so you have to use your fingernails there, but it's harder on these little intricate designs like this. But you could do this with any shape, any color of foil. It's really quick and it's a lot of fun and the end result is just beautiful. And just make sure you smudge it down with your finger pretty good so all the foil applies to the area that is sticky. It's kind of like you're doing a rub on with your finger except it's shiny and pretty. Look at that. Love it. So now what I'm going to do is fussy cut these out. Now you could certainly adhere these right to a scrapbooking background or a card. Uh, I don't really make a lot of cards and uh, I like to fussy cut out things and make my own embellishments. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to cut these out. And so there they are. I love how these turned out, especially that purple. Amethyst. Love it. Gorgeous. So now I'm going to show you another way that you can apply the foil without a laminator. This is going to look totally different. This is the Deco Foil Liquid Adhesive. And it looks like a bottle of glue, but it's not glue. All I'm going to do is take it and squeeze some out and just kind of use my finger to smudge it around. And I'm going to coat the entire cut file here or die cut with this liquid adhesive. Now, this is kind of a learning experience. And this is just things that you learn by trial and error as you play with the products. Now, you want to have a pretty thick coat of this liquid adhesive. What I'm doing is kind of smudging it to where it's thin. The whole thing is covered, but the foil likes to stick to the highest part. So if you've got some texture and you know when you smudge things with your finger, it's not necessarily going to be smooth. And let me show you what I'm talking about here. So you want to let that dry. It's completely dry and it's going to be feeling a little bit tacky when you touch it. 
and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna make these green, and this is called spring green. And I'm gonna do the same thing. You just stick the foil, foil side up, and then use your finger to rub over it. But the way I smudged it on with my finger, it wasn't completely smooth or even like you saw before on the easy, easy cut adhesive sheets. And so only bits and pieces of it are gonna be covered. Now, this could be a really fun look. Doesn't have to be completely, but you can see how, how it's, it's kind of splotchy. I think that looks pretty cool because I like things to look messy. However, it's mainly because the, the different uh, ridges of how when I smoothed it on with my finger, uh, the, it wasn't completely, um, you could tell where some of the, the uh, adhesive was higher and then some of it, it was lower, I guess, when, you, when it dried, if that makes sense. I hope I'm not making <laughs> much nonsense here. But anyway, I go back over it with a thicker layer and let that dry. And then I go right back on top of the same spot where I did it before. And I'm going to get more coverage. So that's the only tricky part uh, when you're comparing the two, the two techniques here is um, the coverage areas and the texture. You know, it's going to be a little bit different. And I also was using textured cardstock for these. It was just a scrap piece of cardstock that I used. So smooth cardstock versus textured cardstock is going to be different. But you can see here how a lot more of it is covered because I added a thicker layer. And it's still not completely covered, but I think it looks really cool. It's a totally different look. It looks bumpy and, you know, it, it just looks like it's, it's got a lot of texture when you touch it. And that may be a look that you're going for, more of a distressed foil look. And uh, it's just fun to play around with it. You're going to get some different looks. And I wanted these two pieces to be kind of like the leaves. And so I wanted to show you the two different ways. And I, I think it looks really neat when they're mixed together. And you still get the foil and the shine. It's just a different look. All right, so I'm going to use this black and white picture of me and my daughter, a little selfie. Try to take as many of those fun selfies as I can when they're in the mood. And now I'm just gonna try to put these fun little floral pieces around the picture. And I wanted to let the colors of the foil really shine through, and so I'm gonna use some white cardstock. And I tried something a little bit different here. I always use my shimmers, which I love dearly. But I have really neglected my Heidi Swap Color Shines, and I've had those for so long. They are totally different when it comes to the packaging technique. You can see here, um, whatever shape the liquid, when I sprayed it onto my packaging, that's the shape that's going to be on the paper when I smush it down. And the shimmers kind of um, goes in different, like I can move it around a little bit more, but the color shine is different. I don't honestly I don't think I'd ever tried the packaging technique with Heidi Swap Color Shine before. But I'm using um, some blue on the left and some purple on the right because I've got the opposite colors of the flowers going there. And so I'm just using some of the packaging and I'm gonna do some splattering. Now this is another Heidi Swap Color Shine. I just thought I haven't used this in forever. I believe it's Citron. And all these three colors match the foil that I have really, really nicely. And I'm going to have the, uh, the photo right there in the middle. And you're just going to be able to see the watercolor kind of peeking out from behind everything. I love how this is looking. I love that um, just the way the photo is and the space in the photo, I can overlap it with the, uh, the die cut there. So all I did here is I added a little bit of tissue paper and a random uh, Project Life card behind the picture, um, sort of a, a pretty blue color, just to give it a little bit of separation from the background. And then I'm going to come in with the die cuts again and I love the shine you can 
really see them in person, of course, and when you move it in the light, it's it's so hard to see how pretty this stuff is on camera with, you know, my desk lights and things like that. And I really work hard to get a good picture of it at the end so it doesn't look dark because, you know, if it's in the wrong light, the foil looks dark and you can't really see the color. So hopefully you'll like the end photo and you can really see the sparkle on it. So the glue that I'm going to use to glue all this down is also available from ThermaWeb. It's the iCraft Mixed Media Adhesive, and it is super strong glue. It works fantastic. It uh, will hold my thread that I added in there and add all these uh, little bits and pieces from the, uh, the hearts or the leaves. It's going to make sure everything is glued down just right. And I didn't want to glue every bit of it down because I wanted some dimension, and so a lot of the hearts or leaves, they look like little leaf hearts, are going to pop up off the page. The rest of this is going to be from my stash. This is a pack of white Amy Tan thickers I've had for a while. I'm going to do some tone on tone there with the X and O's. And then I'm going to use some me and my big ideas, just random stickers that I've picked up from Michaels here and there, um, just to keep on my desk for when I create layouts like this where I'm not really using a collection. I always like to reach for my, you know, little just random stickers that kind of go with any anything. Beautiful colors. And so I'm just looking for things that may be purple or blue or green. And I wind up creating a fun little cluster down there at the bottom. I'm going to take off the big XO and just add that glittery hello because I've had that for forever and I finally have a layout that it matches. I have this little booklet. It's also me and my big ideas and it's for Michael's got it a long time ago and I just use it from time to time whenever something matches and I don't think I've used anything with green glitter in forever and that little circle with love down at the bottom matched perfectly and then these are some exclusive hip kit puffy stickers and uh, that little word life matched perfectly so I'm gonna use it this is also a pack of thicker pack of thickers <laughs> pack of sequins that we got in a hip kit several months ago i think it was an exclusive pack i don't think it was from a specific brand but i'm going to use the purple sequins out of it to add on to the layout so now i've got some shiny uh, blue some glittery green and some glittery blue i'm almost finished i'm going to add in a little bit of journaling here down at the bottom and I did some silver metallic stitching a little bit down there in that cluster as well off camera. And the last thing I'm going to do is add the date and that is going to wrap it up. There you can kind of see how shiny that foil is. I did my best to get the light to shine on it in just the right way. And I love that purple and the blue together. It's so pretty. And you can just see the difference right there in the texture and the purple versus the green. So, you know, you've got different uh, techniques that you could do that don't involve a laminator and you can still get some really, really fun designs or shapes. You could do this with words, fonts, whatever. Uh, anything will work. The foil is beautiful and it's so fun to work with. Please let me know if you have any questions about it. Hopefully I explained this well. Um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.